Jim was a very loving, fun-filled young man, very curious in how things worked, but most curious about people and their stories. You know, Jim was that friend that really interested in history, social studies, and journalism, even when he was in high school. What made him a good storyteller and a good journalist uh, goes back to the fact that he was such a good listener. People trusted him, and they were willing to confide in him. There does seem to be a strong sense that they won't give up the fight, and that there are a force of young fighting men. Although unorganized, there's plenty of will to hold out here. Jim Foley was the kind of reporter that we all hoped to be. He went to the front lines. He knew he had to be there. He took risks to get the news out uh, to Americans. Jim was an extremely empathetic person. He wanted to take the time to understand people and in what situations they were living through. Jim Foley worked for me uh, as a journalist in the field at Global Post, and his work in Afghanistan was extraordinary. His craft of storytelling is exceptional. The reasons here mirror those that shut down the Korangal. The population in the Pesh is too small to spend time trying to win hearts and minds, and the insurgent resistance is too strong to justify the modest military gains. When there was no place, at least in the Middle East, or maybe even the world at that time, that had more human suffering happening and he wanted the world to know about it. He wanted the world to have to face what was happening there. You know, the thing is, there's, there's physical courage. For some reason, I have physical courage, but really think about it. That's nothing compared to moral courage. I was amazed when I watched that speech that he gave at Marquette University when he returned from his captivity in Libya. And here Jim was talking about his aspiring to be a man of moral courage. It was quickly apparent that this, this was about challenges the system to write about things that are gonna maybe have reprisals on my career. If I don't have that moral courage, we don't have journalism. When Jim talks about moral courage, I believe what he's talking about is no matter what the ramifications or consequences are of your decision, it's really important to tell the truth, to find the truth and to present the truth. His sense of moral courage, what I always admired is that he wanted to do what was right, but he wanted to do what was right for others first. The moral courage that he exemplified, which comes in many ways, but one thing I think most importantly is that it comes from within. An act of moral courage is about believing in humanity, making an active daily choice to pull that goodness into your life, to make a decision to own it, to build it, to invest in it, to hope, to take the risk that as a human community we can be better and we can do better. And I think that's courageous. Moral courage means going out, um, hearing people's stories, conveying them accurately, and being fair to them. Jim embodied all of that. And so that is why our tagline is inspiring moral courage one person at a time. Because we all have those choices every day. And our world needs us to have the moral courage to choose the good, to choose to do what is right.